Good morning, my name is Jay Reynolds. I'm with Angel Petroleum Technologies. We are the inventors and developers with Parker Hennepin Corporation of the Black Storm Production Tubing System. I'm going to walk you through what the elements of this portable production system are and show you how we've tested this over time. This is a 20kW diesel gen set with a sub-base fuel tank. Uh, it holds 80 gallons. It'll run about two weeks on this much fuel. So I'm going to walk you from front to rear of the truck and show you what the various elements of the system are and how we use it. Mounted on the truck is a 1,050 gallon portable tank into which we produce oil. This is about 24 barrels and the pump rate at the gravity oil we have, which is 20 to 21 gravity, with this pump and motor setup that I'll show you, is about 3 to 5 gallons a minute. The pump is rated for as high as 16 gallons a minute in a lighter gravity fluid. So if you're pumping an oil whose gravity is in the 30s, it'll pump probably two to three times faster than what we have here. Moving to the rear of the truck, and we'll turn the truck around in just a minute and show you what's on the other side of it. The last thing we use on the truck, which is also powered from the diesel gen set, is this discharge pump. We pull up to the tank battery, tie our discharge hose in through a quick connect into the gun barrel, pump our oil off out of the truck. The unloading process takes about 10 minutes. The heart and soul of the operation is the draw works. This truck has been our test mule over the years as we've developed this system and you'll see numerous welds around the periphery of the flange where we've changed the way the, the spooling apparatus operates. But it's really simple. We have a hydraulic motor which is driven by a hydraulic pump on the other side of the truck. It, like the controls for the discharge pump, is controlled from this operator station. The operator can also control the operation of the submersible pump and motor, which is also driven off of the 20kW diesel gen set. The draw works here has two simple controls. This control tracks the whole draw works assembly side to side. This is how we accomplish the lay flat so that our hose lays flat as we come out of the hole. And this is essentially the transmission. This lowers it, this raises it, and this is a throttling valve for the rate. Basically, it takes us about five minutes to get on bottom uh, with a spool deployment rate of about 150 feet a minute. Okay, you can hear I have the generator running in the background. Now you'll hear me start the hydraulic pump and I'm gonna show you how the take up spool moves from side to side as we come out of the hole. That's the hydraulic motor running, and this is our lay flat. Here's the other side of the truck. This is the motor, likewise run off the generator, which powers the hydraulic pump for the draw works and the hydraulic cylinder that moves the draw works from side to side. This is a hydraulic reservoir tank. I want to show you how this is terminated on this side. If you look up here, you'll see that the hose comes through the spool through one half circumference and is terminated in a billet cut stainless steel block with a suspension cable. We then produce here out through a live swivel into our stock tank. These two valves are set up so that as the well is pumping, but before it is pumped up, the truck operator can change the position of the two valves and feel to see that fluid is on the way up the stream. On the other side of the spool is the electrical contactor ring, which takes the three-phase power provided by the generator, sends it through the hub and out this side into the tubing. So we can actually raise and lower the pump and motor while it's pumping. That's made possible because this assembly is integrated as one piece. This is Blackstorm tubing made in the USA. On each end is a stainless steel termination. The most interesting thing for the hose is that in cross section you see the one inch ID inner tube which is rated for 500 psi working pressure 2,000 PSI burst. This is the 10-3 electrical cable which powers the ESP pump and motor combo downhole. And this is a 3 16 inch 
pre-stretched stainless steel aircraft cable that is likewise terminated out onto the fitting at each end of the hose. This prevents stretch. The entire assembly is wrapped in 50 mil of ballistic nylon and will handle about 550 barrels a day of fluid if used in a well as a replacement for conventional pump jack. This system, we'll show you in a moment, can be used to replace rods, tubing, pump jack, workover rig, and everything you normally associate with production in the oil field. Blackstorm tubing. This is the terminal end of the Blackstorm production tubing, which terminates in this billet cut stainless steel one inch fitting with NPT threads. This is the tie off for the pre stretched stainless steel aircraft cable that controls any stretch in the, the tubing. We'll go through a union, and this way, if there's ever any service needed, all you have to do is take the union apart, stick on another pump and motor. Below the union is the pump section. This is a Grunfos 5 horsepower pump fluid end, and moving down, it's powered by a 7.5 horsepower Franklin motor. We oversize the motor 50% with respect to the pump because we pump a very viscous 20 gravity oil. Because it's as thick as it is, it would overamp the motor if we ran only a 5 horse motor.